Hi, my name is Terry Lee from Sweet Pea Papers and the Sweet Pea Papers Facebook group. Welcome to video three in our series called Shabby Trip <laughs> Shabby Triple Stack Book. Um, I get it wrong every time. It's almost like a tongue twister. Um, and where we left off is we had done the inside stack. We started to make it the cover stack and then it ended up being too heavy. So we're going to set this aside for right now because I want to work on the front cover. Um, I wanted to do that first before I papered this because I don't want to use the same paper and I wanted to use certain papers, I think, for the front. So I know that's a lot of papering all at once. Um, instead of papering, build, papering. Um, yeah, I think that's the way I want to do it. So the cover is a little bit different. Let's see, where am I going to put this? The cover's a little bit different um, than the rest because there's several uh, ribbons and a tab and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So we're going to start with building our stack, except actually, I think we could probably put the back piece on and that way we have the cover done. So um, we're going to glue this on as a pocket, but then we're going to have a ribbon as well to tie it shut. So um, Let's see. Let me move this stuff out of the way. No, let's do this first. Let's do this first. We'll set the cover over there. So this is our, sorry about that, the, Merry Christmas. This is Christmas morning and I sent out a bunch of Christmas messages. So we're going to kind of hear dings in the background, but don't pay attention. Don't pay attention to the man behind the curtain. You know, like on the Wizard of Oz. Okay, so before we do anything, we need to put a tab on this because we're going to put this hinge on and on the cover, the cover is going to actually open up. So um, we're going to need to decide whether we're going to need a ribbon to tie this shut. Wow. We don't need to decide that till we start gluing it together. Or we, we need to decide it now. But um, I think I think we'll just leave it as a book with no tie. So I think that'll be... I don't know. I didn't think about that until just now. I was already making notes and stuff in here to help us out. And I think we should put, I think we should put a ribbon to tie the front so that it comes out of the pocket. To front cover. So then that would mean that we need to put a ribbon on the inside here. Ribbon to back cover. And we have to make sure that we don't get the ribbon in the way of the tabs. See, that's where the problem's going to come in because we need a tab to open the front cover and the tab's going to be right in here. So that's going to cause a conflict. We'll move the tab down. Then we can put the ribbon right here. I 
Oh no, it's going towards the back, not the front. We can't put it on the front to the back because of the, the tab that we're going to have. So we need to Oh, no, we're not. It's going to be on here, for goodness sake. That's how this can get get going. So we need to, this is going to be on the back of this. We're not going to put that on until after because it's going to, this fell on the floor by accident and Oz picked it up and I caught him carrying it out of the room to go chew on. <laughs> Let's see, I'll put it up here with the ribbon. I took the ribbons off that we had put on on the inside stack because I decided that I did not want a ribbon to go across the front of the CD. I did want it to be from the inside. I don't want the ribbon to go from here across the middle of this. So I decided to go ahead and put it from in here, under here, just to right here and just tie it shut right there and then have another larger ribbon across the top. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. So we'll need to do that, um, this one before we tape it or glue it down and um, this one before we paper the inside back. I had to move a magnet this magnet because of the CD cover hmm which is now on the inside I forgot I had it like this when I was looking at it but really it's going to be like this okay so I counted all the magnets and we have 16 magnets just in this section alone. It's kind of crazy, isn't it? Um, so then let's, yeah, let's work on the cover. You know, I did have a plan. I really did. And um, we have to put the tab on before, oh, that won't work. It just won't work. Can't have a tab to open the, the whole thing um, because uh, we won't be able to open this if we do. Well, yes we will. Oh, we won't be able to glue this on. That's the problem. Unless we glue it on like this which is t entirely okay. Let's do that because I do want the tab so that you know it opens. Well, what we really probably need is something to tie it shut instead of a tab. Because if we don't put anything here, then it's going to flop open from the manila folder part of the cover. So I'm going to need, yeah, see it says ribbon. I'm going to need a ribbon here. Mm -mm. It's going to be closed. So I need the ribbon on this side. Right? Mm-hmm. I need it on here. Right, 
So before we glue the front stack on, we have to put the ribbon on, and then we'll, that ribbon will go to the back of here as well. Because we're one, we want to tie one down to the front, then we want to tie this whole thing to the back. Then we want to put the back on and we want to glue it on as a pocket. Okay. So then we can put the tab on here. And we'll stick this all the way over instead of in the center. I think that will work. Okay, so let's let's glue this tab on. It's all inked. It started out as a cream colored, so I inked the whole thing. So we'll put the tab on here. Then we'll glue this on like so, so the tab sticks out. Okay, so I can trim some of this down. Okay. Then let's go ahead and This one's already at an angle. We'll just kind of fix it a little bit. Okay. We want the tab to be in the center. I just sit here and think about this before I even started filming. I almost started putting it together. And then I realized I was supposed to be filming putting it together. Make sure it's pretty much in the center. Then we'll glue this on. So we had snow. We were talking about that in video two, I think. Maybe one and two. And then it poured down rain all day yesterday. So I get up this morning at like one o'clock in the morning. And there's no snow. There's nothing there. There's nothing but mud. So we have a mud Christmas. glue seeping out but I want to move it a little bit or do I yeah I want to move it up a little bit put it too far down Okay, 
So I want this in the center. What is the deal? I really want it even with the edge. And I have to wait for that glue to dry for a second. Because it's sticking to this leftover glue before I can slide it around, which is what I need to do. So we'll try it again. Put the glue on fairly thick. I'll have to excuse my head if you can see it. There we go. It's a little closer at the top, but I'm not going to argue with it anymore. I'm going to end up tearing it. All right. See, I just didn't want any of this tab showing. So then... CD cover to go here. I should have put it on first. It's too late now. Okay. So let's figure out something else. What if we put this this way? And it isn't cut for a pocket yet. So we need it we need it at the top. I can put it out this on this way. And it will still show on the front. Boy, I goofed up. I needed to glue this in between. I needed to glue it on the envelope first before I put the envelope down. Because now if I put this here, this here, well that might still work. Put it up here. Then when I put this down here, okay, that will still work. Um, but then Yeah, because we don't want it too thick. We just want a small stack on the front. So let's do that. All right, let's glue this on here towards the top.
the only other thing we could do is flip it over, which we can't do, and put it on the back, but that won't work. All right, so we need to put it as a top pocket. the CD cover on at the top. Which, I haven't cut that either. I was cutting them when I inked them. And then somehow I got sidetracked. I was trying not to do too much ahead of time because we have to be able to figure it out. We have to do it on film. What happened here? Oh, this button. My friend Joy showed me this. You know, when you lay this down and it's always rolling around. Well, of course, it doesn't do it now. Anyway, the button keeps it from rolling any further than there on either way, either direction. The surface on here is tilted a little bit. Yeah. Anyway, it keeps it from rolling away. So I put one on both. You can put a little gem too, but remember your surface is curved. So you have to put something small enough that the curve doesn't matter. Get large enough that it keeps it from rolling. See how that stops right there? It stops at the button. I thought it was a nifty neato idea. I mean, I did ink this, but don't think I inked it enough. And then I need to ink this again. Okay. I really didn't want to do two in the same direction like that, but I don't think we really have a choice. I mean, it won't be really in the same direction, but we need to do it at the top. this on. This is not cut for a pocket. Neither is this. The only reason the top one was cut for a pocket is because it um, needed to be shorter to fit. Since we had already done that in the other video for the other envelope, I had gone ahead and done it.
Now the paper is obviously not going to go back that far, but I just don't want the white to show at all, and I don't want to go to put the paper on and then have it not be dark enough at the edge. Okay, so we're going to put this on. I wonder if we should put this on. Yeah, we're putting that on over there. So we have a pocket here. I'm almost wishing I had made this a top pocket. glue this on farther down or in the center And it's actually going to go under here. And then this is going to go here. And then that's all we're putting on the front as far as a stack. So I don't want it to get heavy like the other one did. So we're going to have to do magnets again, because otherwise, you know, like before, this is going to drive me crazy. So the problem is, we're going to have to put the magnet for this one on here. Yeah. So if we put it in the corner, see, then this corner is going to pop up. So it's going to be awfully close to the edge. It's going to go there. Oh, it's going to go farther out. I don't know about this. You know what I'll do? I'll do a ribbon just like I did on the other one. And then that means we will need a ribbon here. Unfortunately, that means it's going to look like the one inside, except it'll have this extra CD cover. Okay, so then okay, so we can put this one where we normally kind of put them.
Mm -hmm. And then that means the partner to it will be here. Now I'm flipping them over when I move them. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. Otherwise, they're not going to be, they're not going to stick together. Okay, so then that one goes there. Ooh, that's too far over. Oops, I put it right back in the same spot. Did you see how it pulled the whole thing up? Hmm. Well, we're going to have a magnet here to hold that down don't like that at all. Well, I don't think there's any way to get around it. And then we're going to need... Do we need one here to hold this shut? We'll open this. We'll open that. We're going to have a magnet here. That's going to be tied down. Open this. We'll open this. It's because there's no paper in between. big wrinkle in the tape right here. Darn that scotch tape and working so well. However, that will help hold it down. One for this one. You know what? This needs to be... Mm -mm. Put it on the back side of this. Instead of the front side. Because I didn't take that very well. Let's see if that helps. Oh yeah, see, that helps a lot. Okay, so get that. And then this. I don't think we need one on this. We're definitely going to need one on this, though.
See how it's drawn to that other magnet? So I'm going to flip it, and that one's drawn to that one. So we're going to have to get it taped down. kind of stinks that the only way this will open is like this, but it's the only way we can get the CD cover facing the right way on the front because we can't put it around on here because of the tab. Okay, so you've got that. And I think we're going to need one to hold this down. No, we don't. There's already one there. It goes here. All right. So then that holds that. Here and here. I just need one here. Yep, much smaller stack. I'm wondering if we need no 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 Terry no <laughs> I'm gonna end up making it too big again you have to stop me it's your job you guys are slacking off on the job Oh, I got another um, dangle. This, this one I got from my friend Kathy at um, Creative Paper Company. Creative spelled with a K. And then I bought another one. And look how pretty it is. I don't have a second glue bottle to put it on, but I loved it so much I bought it anyway. And I think I'll alternate. I don't know if you can see that. It's got a butterfly and a dragonfly on it, and then the beads. She makes awesome dangles. She has a Facebook page and an Etsy store. You know, like a business page. this corner until we get it papered. Oh, see? I put them on backwards. It's repelling it. Couldn't figure out why it wasn't grabbing. I 
pull both of them up. Fun with magnets. So we're going to put this one back on. Oh, it is on. I must have had two stuck together. Then we'll put this one on the back of the um, stack. That should stop the pulling problem. Yeah. And then the ribbon's going to tie this down. Okay, so now we need some ribbon before we do any papering. And then we'll look at the notes on the back as well. See what else you need to do. half. It's still going to be way long. And that's too short. So to the center. That's where I pulled it off the, the back of the other one. The back one because it wasn't where I wanted it. Then we'll pull this over the gear. We'll lay this there. That way we don't forget because we have to put it on before we paper anyway, which is what we're getting ready to do. Oh yeah, the one on the front covers cover is going to be shorter because it goes over all the way over to the CD. Okay, so we've got that. Then we need a ribbon where from under here. here. Mm -hmm. To hold this shut. I put the tab up too high. Should have been down here a little bit. I should have looked at it. It's all right. What's done is done. I'm probably the only one that's going to notice. I am going to put a charm on it though. Um, let's see, what, what are we doing here? I'm going to put the ribbon right below the tab. To 
tie the whole stack shut. Oh, I haven't done it yet. So we need to put the hinge on. That's next. That's still... I mean, it'll be heavier once the paper's on it. Okay, so I need another ribbon. Or do I? Once I untie this one, then it'll allow this to open. No, we need another one because that way you don't have to untie this to open that. So let's use the hinge and put it on. Glue doesn't want to come out. There we go. I globbed up the tip. Okay, so I want it to open this. Let's put it on here. Let it out with my thumb. Man, I'm starving. I mean, I'm so hungry, I may have to put you on pause. Go grab something. A granola bar. You don't want to see it from the front, that's for sure. I didn't ink the outside. I thought about it, and I thought, oh no, I don't need to ink that. Okay. Now the button is keeping it from rolling. It's actually laying on the button, which wasn't the original plan, but it looks like it'll work either way. All right, so then we glue this. On here. Mm hmm. Then the paper will cover it. And if it doesn't cover all of it, that's why we have the inside of it inked. Now it's going to be extra long because we don't have anything, any papers or cards are in here. We've got that. 
And this opens like this. So then we need a ribbon here to go to here. Okay, so we need another ribbon. to go from here to here. I mean, you know, two ribbons. So I should be able to cut this one in half as well. got a little carried away on that other that's for sure I'll glue this to here this to here can't believe I got lucky and worked my way around that tab this really should have gone between the envelope and the cover. This tab could have been here where the ribbon is. The ribbon could have been in the center. So, side note to you guys. Okay, so this is going to go here. And then, we can't put the ribbon on until we paper this. Can we? Sure we can. We just glue it farther in, you know, from the, um, we don't put it all the way to the edge. Good grief. Perfect. Exactly what I want. That will tie that shut. Okay. So then the next time when we come back, we'll start doing the front. This isn't going to be that long of a series. It's definitely not going to be 10. It's probably not even... Yeah, it'll be 5, maybe 6. Um, we still have to do the inside. Once I show you how to paper part of it, though, um, we still have to do the back cover as well. Then... Um, very nice. Look at that. And I tie that one differently so that it goes up and down, you know, and not side to side. What did I do? For goodness sakes, I've worked my fingers too much. They don't want to work anymore. Okay. And then obviously, I can cut this off. So 
So then we'll have those two ribbons. This will be cut shorter. I want to wait and see. I should have waited on this one for the thickness of the stack. That's why I had left it long. All right, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out if I want to come back and unglue these and put two longer ones in and use this on the CD in the back. Um, well, it's going to be even fatter. So anyway, um, that's it for this video. And I will see you in the next video. And that will be just a second for you and a day for me. Okay, bye-bye.